Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is what's in the box? I'm going to be adding this game to my game collection and before I let it through the doors, I want to make sure I see what's inside and I'm going to share that information with you. You get to see this live as I am opening this, so you get to see my reactions as I see this game for the first time, open for the first time. I have not played Codenames Duet. I have played the original game. I am a big fan of it, which is odd for me because I usually don't like party games. Uh, Codenames and Concept are the two exceptions to that role, and actually Medium, which I played recently, I really liked. So we're going to take a look at code names, but first, uh, just a little bit of self-promotion. Uh, you can find us on the web at tabletopbellhop.com. That's our main web page where you can find all kinds of cool gaming stuff, as well as answers to your gaming questions. That's the main thing to do. we do. We are trying to be a Dear Abby for Gamers, answering your gaming and game night questions, which we then answer live on Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop as we record an episode of the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. You can get a audio version of that on your podcatcher of choice as well. If you do have a question for us, anything game or game night related, send send us an email to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or head over to tabletopbellhop.com and click on Ask the Bellhop at the top of the page. All right, enough about the promotions. We're going to move on to Codenames Duet. First, I'm going to give you a quick look at the back of the box. I'm going to read this off quick. I apologize for the glare. There we go. So it says, your partner says T3. Can you find the three words related to teeth that will win the game? I see comb. I see dentist. And I see gear, because all three of those have teeth. I wonder if I won. Um, so you and your partner are on a secret mission to a crowded city. Your objective is to contact 15 agents while avoiding a band of enemy assassins. You know the agents that your partner can contact safely. Your partner knows the agents you can contact safely. By giving each other one-word clues that can point to multiple words on the table, you try to find all the agents before your turns run out. It is a cooperative game for two or more players. Oh, interesting. Two or more. Even though it's Codenames Duet. You do not need any other version. This is the cooperative version of Codenames. All right, so I am going to crack the shrink on this quickly. And then what I'll do is I'll tip the camera down and we'll take a look at what's in the box. Here we have the box for Codenames Duet from Check Games Editions. It's a nice size box. It's not too big, not too small. Opened up nice. Looks like we got baggies. I always appreciate when companies give you baggies with your game. That's that's a bonus right here. Baggies to hold all this stuff once we open it up. So four baggies. Then we've got a plastic stand. Having played code names, I know that's going to be to hold these. So we have a plastic stand. We then have a bunch of the clue cards. These don't seem to have any quick open, or if it does, I'm not seeing it. Oh, it's there. Again, these things are great when they work. Oh, there we go. Found it. Perfect. So, not too exciting. You have your clue card, which I assume is going to go in here. Again, I have not played this game, and go between the two of you, and it's going to show your partner which um, cards you're trying to find, and you what your partner's trying to find. There are a, uh, I don't want to swear, but a ton of these. Look at this. That is a ridiculous number. There is... No way you're going to know if you've used one of these before. Excellent. That's good to see. There's some replayability right there. Card quality is solid. Um, they do seem to be slightly coated, which is good, since they're going to be sliding in here. They're nice and slippery for that purpose, which is good. Then we move on to cards. We have deck one and deck two. So two separate decks of cards. Now these are tiny. This is standard for code names. Uh, these are even smaller than most, what I usually call hobbit size cards. These are like half the size of half a card. Again, opened up really nice. Uh, not a lot to show you here. You have the card, and it's got the word and the word upside down. I've never understood one thing about code names is why they didn't keep it the same size on both sides. Like, why, why not literally mirror it? I'm not sure what they were going for there. But it's a bunch of words, and they're two-sided. So you have a ridiculous number of words. I don't know why this is set one. So one of the things I'm going to do is I am not going to open this during the unboxing video. You get the gist, right? It's just more of these. Just in case there's some reason that there's a number one and number two that I don't understand. So, yeah, hammer, cake, and onion. If you can think of a word that goes with hammer, cake, and onion, uh, you're better at code names than I am. 
So that's it. Another stack of cards. Then we have uh, advertisements from CGE, including Letter Jam, which I've heard fantastic. Pictomania, which is an awesome gamer's version of Win, Lose, or Draw, and so on. I'm not going to go through their catalog and tell you what I think of CGE. Overall, I am a fan of many, many of their games. And we have rules. It says top secret co-op game. Lots colorful. Uh, despite being on the green background, I like that they used a nice light green background to put the text on. Um, if you know code names, that's a nice section. So if you know how to play the original, here's a little how it differs. Quite the wall of text there. I gotta say, for a for a quick, what I'd consider a quick, simple game, we're up to seven pages. So that's a significant rule book for for what's basically a a uh, uh, a party game, right? Debriefing. How did it go? Then there's a mission map. So there's some kind of campaign set up here. Using the timer tokens, continuing on. Valid and invalid clues with more than two players. So that's neat. I had no clue you could play duet with more than two players. Loser turn order. Advanced techniques. The zero clue. Looks good. Uh, that is a significant 12-page rulebook for what's basically a party game. Uh, there's a secret to the key card. Uh, this is worth knowing. I don't know why it matters, but the duet cards have two dots on them somewhere. I'm not. It shows me that they're they're somewhere in this corner, but. Oh, I see it. Little tiny dots there to show these are duet cards. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to just use the cards from the original game or mix them, but sure. Then we have a pad that shows a map of the world with all kinds of um, arrows and cities and 10 to 1, 7 to 1. I've got no clue having not played this. Then we got a bunch board that's already started to punch itself. That's always a good sign. That means that um, these are going to come off easy. I do like the fact that you have a bunch of different genders, races, and so on for the, the various spies. That's a nice touch. You got some other tokens. Again, these are so well cut that they're falling out. These, uh, based on the rules, said they were timer tokens. So they look like citizens. Artwork's good enough for what it is. And that's it, except for the fact that many of these are already <laughs> falling out on me. That's what's in the bottom of the box. Even have people of different age categories. That's a nice touch. There's a snowman. I don't know why there's a snowman. Snowman. There's a snowman time token. So that's it. That's what you get in a copy of Codenames Duet. What I'm going to do is grab one of those baggies to toss those cards in so they don't get all mixed up in my package here. slide all over the place and possibly get damaged again i don't know what's with the deck one and two maybe that has something to do with the campaign mode so here you go it's all gonna fit in the box pretty nice i gotta say the box is definitely bigger than it needs to be i know some people care about that i'm so so sometimes i care sometimes i don't this could have easily been in a smaller box except for that world map is about what takes up the largest size but you could have had that folded probably in the same size box as code names I am destroying my mat here there you have it that is what you get in the box for code names duet from check games Editions CGE uh, what do we got we got a dice tower seal of approval you got the International Gamer Awards 2018 winner. I have heard really good things about this. My wife and I are huge fans of small box games we can bring with us on date night. So when we go to the pub, we go to a cafe, or we're staying in a hotel. Because hotels do not tend to have nice big gaming tables in them. But they tend to have nice little end tables where games like this will fit great. So it looks good. Um, quality seems fine. I'm curious to know what that map's used for. Interesting to see how the gameplay differs from the original code names. I am a fan of the original. I am really looking forward to checking this out. Eventually, I will be posting a review of this. You'll be able to find that at tabletopbellhop.com, uh, as well as catching a YouTube version of it at YouTube slash tabletopbellhop. Speaking of tabletopbellhop, that word, tabletopbellhop, one word at the end of pretty much every type of social media is where you'll be able to find me. Mo Tuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. Thank you for joining me for this video. Good night and game on.